All right, so this is kind of what they've been doing right now with Twitch and Twitch Primes and stuff like that. So the big thing that they're doing is, uh, you know, they have that Partner Plus program, right? So they're expanding the Partner Plus program to be like a, a what are they call you now, a, a different type of program. They're expanding it to include affiliates. So I don't, it's not just a partner program anymore, right? Um, so what they're doing is if I look through here, Twitch is limiting the 100,000 cap on the 70 30 revenue split for the platform's highest earning uh, creators, right? So they implemented a plan with the highest earning streamers will have their subscription revenue uh, beyond 100,000 do 50 50, which means they get taxed on them like that. But they're removing that now. So now the top streamers will be able to get the 70 30 all the way through no matter how much they make which is it's kind of crazy if you're you know to me that's a that's a huge number that you're making 70 30 on um which is is cool like you're getting more of the money that you make and stuff like that you know what i mean um having a program in place that penalizes the highest earner seems bad for business especially as twitch's largest streamer are increasingly looking beyond the platform to make a living or at being wooed away by a huge contracts from competitors. Uh, Tom, Dan Clancy is actually on record saying also that they would not be signing streamers to big contracts anymore. That's a waste to sign con uh, sign streamers to big contracts, which I'm kind of like iffy about. I like I actually agree with him there, but at the same time, I don't think it's a bad idea to sign a streamer to uh, a bigger contract to kind of keep them exclusive. Like you go to I compare it to kind of like a, a team that you follow or a player that you follow or something like that of the sports. If you, if you, um, if you like, if you like LeBron James, okay, if you like LeBron James, no matter where he goes, you're gonna be a LeBron James fan. So you're always gonna look for LeBron James. You might buy his jersey. You might watch his games. You know, you're, you're gonna always be a LeBron James fan. When he comes into town to play your team, you're gonna go buy tickets to go watch his game, most likely, okay? Maybe not in this economy, because this economy sucks. But <laughs> uh, the big thing is you're going to be a fan of that person no matter where they go, most likely. And I, obviously there's all, always outliers, but for a good portion of the time, you will be. Now, Mixer kind of proved that some of that is not completely true you know um when they signed shroud i mean ninja was still huge but when they signed shroud over to mixer he didn't get the numbers that he got at twitch because some people are devoted their twitch fans and their shroud fans second so there's twitch fans that just end up finding a new streamer and they're like hey this is this is who we're watching now like we you know we really like tarkov shroud was the bomb but we're not going to mixer so that's that's kind of like how that worked so the big thing that I kind of feel with this is, you know, you would sign a streamer to your platform to make sure they stay on your platform when people are already on your platform. Um, when you sign them away from your platform, not only are you going someplace else, but now you have to, you know, get used to new things and all that stuff. So it's not just watching. Um, it's not just watching the streamer now or watching being at the platform now you're moving a whole platform so it's like it's kind of like a different feeling in that sense so i feel like twitch not signing the streamers you know it, it, it's kind of iffy like i get why they're trying to save the money but i feel like guaranteeing that that streamer has to be in that contract for so many times so much longer especially the bigger ones when they get to a point when they're starting to get like you know they're kind of like eh we want to kind of split up we do you know um what is it like xqc or amaranth or something like that they oh you know we kind of want to like view the kick audience now and you know view this audience now it kind of guarantees that they're not going anywhere they're spending all their time on your platform um this is the other the plus program i guess they're calling it she got banned for a day amaranth uh, uh when was a year that she hasn't got banned you know what i mean there's nothing wrong amaranth is a businesswoman she is a a businesswoman knows what to sell what does she sell she sells herself. She sells her name. She sells her. She sells her image. She knows. She knows what sells. Um, without going into too much detail, I think we can put the two points together here. Everyone has seen her. Everyone has seen, you know, what she flaunts in front of a camera. And there's nothing. And there's nothing wrong with that because she's making the money. In my opinion, there's nothing wrong with that. You're making money. You're getting viewers. People are buying your product. I hate to say that because it makes you. It, it, I hate to say product in that sense because it makes her seem like the like a product, which is the the wrong way to view a person. But in that sense, they're they're buying what she's offering. 
You know what I mean? Um, they're buying what she's offering is kind of where I'm, I'm putting that. I'm not trying to make it. I'm trying not trying not to make that like a sexist comment because it's not it's it's not anywhere offended to that or no, it's not anywhere offered to that because and if anything I'm praising the idea that she's just been so predominant and such a leader in in some of the categories that she's been and some people don't like that disagree they think that they you know they think that she's a, um, a menace and all this stuff but I mean, she consistently holds high numbers. She consistently has is, is one of the top um, streaming females on the platform. And she's consistently one of the top streamers in the platform, um, whether you go to Kick or you go to uh, Twitch. So you might not like her, but the idea is she's making a living and then she's investing her money into other things um, like the creator games, like uh, that guy, you know, the gas stations that she bought, um, the lines that she offers, you know, she continues to innovate and continues to invest her money and she's got generational money now and she's got generational things to be able to provide down the road. So if she uh, does end up having a kid, um, you know, that, that's a big thing. If she ends up having a kid, then I think that kid's pretty much set for life if they want to be. But the big going back to this here because I'm not. Um, the big thing is they did 70 30 if you have a certain amount of subs and 60 40 if you have a certain amount of subs. This extends to the new program. This new program begins in May, which I'm assuming that you start qualifying now. So you have to qualify for three months, and that's that's one of the kickers. So let's do this. Ready? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna add a. Let's add a. Uh, here, where is this? Where is this? Where is this? Here, let's add a text here. Okay, we're going to add a text. I'm going to say list. All right. Qualifications. Okay, and let's scroll this down here a little bit. So we got this down here. All right, we'll do this. And then we'll do... Here, we'll do that. Let's let's outline it instead. Actually, I love that OBS has all these different options right now. This is I love this. So you can see it better. Okay, qualifications for the new program, right? All right. Number one, you must qualify three months. So three months. Three months of eligibility, right? Okay. Number two. So this is it right here, right? So you have to do that. You have to qualify. Now, these are points. I should, I should probably do points. So you don't have 300 subs. You have 300, you have 300 plus points. Or you have 300 subscription points. So right here is, is a good example here. So level one is 60-40 split, 100 plus points. What does each one? Tier three gives six points. Tier two gives two points. Tier one gives one point. So that means if you have, what well, if you have 34, because it has to reach over 100, 34 um, tier three subs, which if you think about it, that's not a huge amount of people. That's not a huge amount of subs. If you have 34 uh, tier three subs, then you are going to be in that 60, 40 threshold. And tier three subs is what? It's $25? So here, let me see, let me see some real fast. Let's go calculator, ready? Let's go calculator, okay? So let's go, the, let's go, let's get the calculator out here. Okay, ready? So let's say it's twenty four ninety nine. Let's multiply, let's multiply that by 33. Let's do 33, no, let's do 34, let's do 34, it's 34, okay? Eight hundred forty nine dollars and 66 cents, okay? Congratulations, you qualify for the 60, 40, right? That means out of the eight hundred forty nine dollars sixty six cents, you quala you are getting three hundred thirty nine dollars taken out, right? So there you go, three hundred thirty nine dollars. So that means you are qualifying for five hundred nine dollars and forty seven cents. That's going to be your pay for that, right? With the sixty forty. So that's your pay for that. That's your oop, that's your eventual paycheck there. Now, 
let's do the 70 30 now shall we so let's say that you only have tier three subs right let's say you only have tier three subs is that is that that's a direct translation right yeah tier one is 499 this is 2499 it's only that technically if you have six of these 30 bucks so actually this is a bigger deal for you well actually this is a better deal for you in money wise because you're getting more money per point but technically this is better money this is better for you for qualification because this one you're getting more money per point you know what i mean because you're getting 30 dollars, so it's 15 because it's 50 50. this one it's 12 50. that's what i'm saying so per point not like per tier but per point so let's do this so we have 300 right so 24 24.99 oh sorry six points um is 50 so it'd be 50 uh 50 of your tier three subs right 50 times six 300 yep that's right okay so 50 times uh, or 50 tier three subs so it's gonna be 50 times 24.99 needs uh 1249 dollars and 50 cents right now your qualification congratulations you're in the 70 30 category so if we multiply that by 0.3 they're going to be taking 375 dollars basically 375 dollars so it's if you do that you um, you minus 12.950 12.49.50 you are making 874 dollars and 65 cents from your tier three subs so that is how that works right there um and again it's points so that's your qualifications you must qualify for three months of eligibility must have a hundred or 300 sub points and you must be in good standing what does that mean it means that you cannot qualify for this program this is a little hidden thing i don't think they talk about Okay, I don't think they talk about this one. You cannot be banned to qualify for this. Like, you cannot be banned. You cannot have, like, a horrendous ban on your record, I think it is. I think you cannot be... You can literally not be in, in, a, in a very bad state with your... With your situation. So, you have to be able to... Uh, you have to be able to provide, you know, you have to be able to provide a good stream, basically. Is that kind of what it is. Just as long as you didn't get, like, horrendously banned or something like that, you know? Um, so that right there now, now here's the big deal. That's the list for that. Here's a big deal here. Now, finally, the biggest chance, the change coming to Twitch monetization impacts the prime gaming subscription, which I think prime gaming is going out the door. I think prime gaming is pretty much dead. I'll say shut up. I think prime gaming is going to be dead. I think Prime Gaming in the next year is either going to be heavily modified to like, oh, you get 33% off your subscription or something like that. I really think that they're going to take away the Prime Game. And you know, it's been a great, it's been a great, how many years? When did Prime, when did Prime, uh, when did Prime Gaming sub start? Let's see, let's see when that started. September 2016. Yeah, to, it's September 2016. So it's been a good eight years. Or it's coming up eight to eight years on Prime Gaming. That's that's crazy, honestly. That's a really, really good one. And they've been bumping up the Prime subscription all the time. So, you know, you're paying more and more and more to get be able to get your uh, Amazon. And if you're an Amazon lover, it's just an added perk. But if it's if you're not an Amazon lover or if you're like you rarely use Amazon, it's actually, to be honest, it costs you more money to do that than just subscribing to somebody. So you might as well just subscribe to somebody if you really enjoy their content. I highly suggest you subscribe to people too as well because as you see with my my um as you see with my demonstration, if you're like a single watcher, if you're like watching like two or three people and you subscribe to them for like $15 a month, you're helping them not only progress in their um their their creator goals but you're helping them move them into higher tiers where they can start making maybe a decent living. You know what I mean? So if you have the means to be able to subscribe to somebody for $5 a month or even $10 a month, um, and that, that doesn't hurt you, you're able to make your bills, you're comfortable and you're able to provide that, you're doing that uh, helps so much to any creator. It doesn't matter if you're 
you know, they have four or five subscribers, it's a start to work in the way up. You know what I mean? Um, so, but again, never hurt yourself over something like that. This is always like, if you have the extra money, you have the ability to be able to be a subscriber to somebody. That's what I always say. I'm always, always worry about yourself first. And then if you're able to provide, provide down the road, but, um, this is going to be June 3rd. Twitch is changing this payment to a flat rate based on the subscribers country. So check out the table here. So let's check out the table here. What's that? Let me open up. I don't like opening links. Just I don't like opening links. Just oh, to open links. You know what I mean? Let's check out the let's check out the link real fast. Okay, so it's a good link. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, it'd be awesome if I actually pressed the right one. Okay, so let me bring this over to you guys. Ready? This is, oh yeah. Okay, so. So this is a payout chart, right? This is a payout chart for what you will be seeing if you are a prime subscriber to a streamer. This is what they'll be making, you know? This, will, this is exactly what they'll be paid out. You know what I mean? It's a fixed rate. So this is what they're, this is what they're paying right here. These fixed rates do not include taxes, fees, or other costs which may be incurred in connection with your chosen payment method. June third, right there. So, um, if you subscribe, look at look and look at this. This is crazy because you know normally four ninety five, you normally get two fifty from that sub, right? If you subscribe from Australia, the Prime Gaming, the person's getting two fifteen. If you subscribe from Fiji. They're getting 85 cents. That means you are making 85 cents off of a subscriber. Uh, Mongolia, 55 cents. S Sri Lanka, 65 cents. I'm kind of looking for the cheapest. 55 cents. Pakistan, Nepal, 70 cents. Mongolia, 55 cents. What's the cheapest on here? What's the... Someone's making nothing. It's like almost worth not even working about. Yeah, this is just, this is crazy. 55 cents, 110. This is just like, the people were cheering the idea. People were cheering all over Twitter, like, yeah, 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 big W Twitch, huge W. But like Twitch likes to do, like Twitch likes to do. And it's also, your Twitch Prime Gaming went down too as well, by the way. It's 225 now. 225 now it's not 250 you get 225 from yours so they did lower this as well so you are making less per prime sub now and it, yeah it's a little it's a little you're right it's a little 25 cents okay well 25 cents per you know 25 cents here but let's say you have 100 subs right 100 subs, right 25 cents that's 25 bucks off your pocket so you have a thousand subs you know what I mean? That's two hundred fifty dollars out of your pocket. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's just a quarter that adds up in this economy. That adds up a lot in this economy. You know what I mean? So you saw what Live Space is doing? No, I don't know. I, I don't know what Live Space is. So, but yeah, this is this is what the whole big. This is a huge deal, and and they hit it underneath a win. So the first thing is a win. This is a win. This is 100% a win because it gives the point, it gives the people a chance to be able to make a living, you know, doing this, you know, especially the smaller streamers, it gives it, but, um, it really, it really is a tough one. Unless you creative subscriptions come from prime gaming perk and the company is hoping that the potential negative feelings associated with this chart or change will be offset by the expanse of the partner program and elimination of the hundred cap, both of which could help raise earnings. So this, this is a, this is a statement that is really shitty, honestly, because most streamers aren't going to qualify for this. They're not, they don't have a hundred subscribers. They have, you know, 40, 50, 60 subscribers for the smaller streamers. Heck, they even have 30 subscriber, 30 subscribers that they, you know, that they make enough to be able to get a, 50 60 70 dollar boost every week every month you know the little extra little pocket change a, 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 
internet bill, uh, electric, uh, you know, part of an electric bill, stuff like that. Um, there, most streamers are not going to qualify for this, and that's uh, that's a big deal. Twitch has been struggling financially, resulting in numerous layoffs and some of their top executives leaving the company in a live stream held shortly after the announcement that Twitch will be laying off 500 people. People. people, people, people. Uh, Dan Clancy said that Twitch was not profitable on that layoffs in addition to other unspecified changes were critical to keeping the company healthy. Now, the, the thing with Dan Clancy is I feel like um, I feel like they're he's being as real as possible i don't i don't think that same tom or tom i keep saying tom clancy i don't feel like dan clancy is being you know wrong in any way i don't or, or not wrong in, in in a good amount of ways i think that he is trying to be as open and as real as possible and honestly that's a really big deal with being a twitch ceo finally that we have a twitch ceo that's willing to put his face on the network and being like hey this is what's going on and you know i'm tell i'm telling you not my representatives as opposed to the previous twitch ceo who no one even knew his name but dan's making appearances you know how old is dan clancy how old is dan clancy he's 60 years old this guy is still pretty freaking cool like he really is a super chill a person that like wants to be a part of the convention still loves twitch like you could tell that he has a passion for it, and that's awesome. I feel like he's starting to try to make the right moves and the right, you know, strides to be able to do that. Um, I think he just he hopped onto a ship that was already pretty freaking nose down with Twitch, and not saying that it's going to sink all the way because ships can be righted and and everything like that. I think he's making the hard decisions to be able to try to right it, but it's gonna it's gonna scare a lot of people away to the point where they're. I think we're gonna probably see start seeing. Um, maybe a streaming exodus like people aren't going to do it as much or they're going to see that it's just not you know it's just not what they they thought they were signing up for or they're not making enough to be able to you know devote the time for um and that and that's right that's fine you know that's okay if, if you're dedicating a lot of time to this and this isn't what you love or enjoy and you're not able to make um you know something of a, 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 a livable wage or you're not able to add on to your livable wage like i do it because it adds on to my livable wage i have a uh i have a job that pays my bills and things are tight so everything i make from streaming and from video creation and anything side helps me to be able to live extra every single month like i make my bills and then anything i make from streaming is extra to where I can go out and have, you know, and enjoy a nice meal with, with my fiance or, um, be able to, you know, purchase other things in my life that isn't just like dollar to dollar or check to check, you know? So really always love that. I don't know why I have this stupid thing going all the freaking time. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I don't want you on the screen. Stop it. So that's, so yeah, this is a, this is a, I think they kind of like slid that underneath the, the, so then underneath the, the W with a plus program. And I think that people are kind of not understanding that this is this is gonna start in June. This is gonna affect or what was it? Was it it was June, right? Am I wrong? Hundred <clears throat> cab, next page change, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I think that this is going to affect people, the prime. Especially because he see he even says in the thing that the prime is going to affect sorry june 3rd yeah there you go um this is going to affect a lot of people i think people don't realize that this is going to affect a lot of payouts and this is going to affect a lot of people that their main goal or their main thing is prime subs and i don't think they're ready to see the hit that they're getting ready to take that's my, that's my take